Okay, so um, I'm recording a lecture for some of the class diagrams uh, that we have for homework two. Uh, this is not a very comprehensive lecture for homework two, but uh, it's something that is going to help you get a better score if you listen carefully. So in homework two, you're going to draw some class diagrams. And I'm going to expect you to um, have uh, those class diagrams done properly with appropriate arrows being used to indicate uh, the right type of relationship that you're trying to delineate. So we have different types of arrows which um, represent different types of relationships in UML. Uh, one is the generalization, uh, inheritance, composition, aggregation, dependencies, properties, multiplicity, etc. So let's take a look at this example right here. Duck, fish, and zebra. All of these are a type of animal. So look at how uh, the arrow is pointed towards the animal. And what is this trying to uh, indicate? It's trying to indicate inheritance, OK, or generalization. So this is this is uh, how you would uh, draw the arrows. Um, then you have aggregation and composition. Now take a look at this example. You have a home. A home has a mortgage, right? Zero to one. Maybe you paid off the home, or maybe you have a mortgage. Hopefully you don't have more than one mortgage. <laughs> that um, maybe you have a mailbox. Uh, you can have a home without a mailbox. That's what we are assuming here. But you cannot have a home without a bathroom, a bedroom, and a kitchen. It makes no sense. So which is why you see the difference between aggregation and composition. The dark uh, um, you know, um, arrow with, the, uh, with the, um, the arrow filled up, the pointed area filled up, um, it's called the composition and the area uh, the arrow with the um, the area not filled up is aggregation. So the difference between aggregation and composition is that in composition, you the whole cannot exist without that particular thing. But in aggregation, the whole can exist without that particular thing. Um, for example, I'm you know recording this in front of my computer right here in my office. I cannot have my computer fully functional without my monitor, right? But I can have my computer run nicely without a printer. If I have a printer next to it, it's great. I can print. But I can actually run my computer and use my computer without the printer. So that's an aggregation. Um, let me give you one more example. You are on a beach, and on the beach you have sand, right? The sand is composed of sand grains. You take the sand grain out, there is no sand, because there is no sand without those individual sand grains. That's composition. Another relationship that is delineated here is that of inheritance. Kitchen, bathroom, and bedroom, they're all a type of a room. So what you have here is inheritance or generalization. Okay. A house can have one or more than one bedroom, so which is why we have one dot dot star, which means that star means n number of um, these uh, type of objects or classes. Maybe you can have 10 bedrooms, 20, 32, who knows. Um, it's the same with the bathroom, but uh, in this example, the person has given just one. Uh, you can also uh, usually have one kitchen, so you know um, that's why you put one. Um, so this is how you can indicate the number of these type of classes that can contain by using those numbers. That which is the case with the mortgage and which is the case with the bedroom. So you can use your imagination um, to build uh, diagrams or homework too. Uh, there is no uh, 
perfect way or you know this is the only way and no other way there is no such thing uh, you can draw those diagrams using 100 different ways and all of them could be right however make sure you don't follow these mistakes one is not using right arrow types between classes you want to show inheritance but the arrow that you're using is for composition another thing is make sure your arrow is pointing in the right direction okay so these are some of the common mistakes that students do and they lose points um, again if you have any questions for homework too please ask i hope uh, this video was useful to you and you would probably score uh, some more points than you would have without watching this video for homework too thank you very much